Hi, I'm Erin and I'm going to show you how to use a ring sling. I've talked about how to thread it in another video, so let's just go ahead and get started. I wear my rings on my right shoulder because I want my baby on my left hip. And I've got it snug down to where I don't have a whole lot of slack that I need to work out once I've got baby in. He's getting fussy, so let's go. I'm running. Here, come on. Uh-huh. Okay. You want to put baby up on your opposite shoulder from the rings. He likes to look at himself while I'm doing this, so hopefully he'll cooperate. All right, I've got his butt with my right hand, rings around my right shoulder, and then I'm gonna just pull this up as high as I want it to be on him. So he likes it about shoulder. All right, I'm gonna give myself just a little bit more slack to where I can show you all this fabric that I've got down here, I want to pull up between the two of us. So I'm going to pull, lift his butt up and pull this up. So I don't know if you can see, my hand's hitting him mid-chest. So that's a nice deep seat. Okay? Fabric is going from the back of one knee to the back of the other. Alright, now I'm going to spread this over my shoulder because that's how I find it more comfortably. Now that does make my rings in this particular sling further down than you would normally wear them. Normally you want them to end up in corsage position, which is right here. But this is a pleated shoulder and I don't find them terribly comfortable unless they're capped over my shoulder. So that necessitates my rings being a little bit lower. You can do it however you want to. How I'm going to show you to tighten them, they aren't going to gravitate very much. So I'm going to spread my fabric out, and then I'm going to take any slack that I have. If you haven't started as tight as I have, you'll have more, and just kind of work it over towards baby, okay? So slack is over towards baby, and I'm going to grab it and pull it over towards my rings, okay? Then I'm going to take my rail, and I'm going to lift up and forward, up and forward. Do you want this arm out? Do you want that arm out? There you go. Up and forward. And I don't tighten this bottom rail a whole lot because if I do that, it's going to tug it out from between us. So this bottom rail, I just want to be taut, but not, not terribly snug. So you can see that um, this top rail is nice and tight. His center of gravity is very close to mine, so it's going to be comfortable to wear him for a while. Knees are higher than bum. Our legs are in an M position, so that just means the M shape is there. He's close enough to kiss, and my rings are up high, um, so he's not going to be dive bombing into them. You can clip right toys to this ring. You can take this tail around and wrap it around to pass if baby likes to bop his head into it. You can wrap it around again if you want to get baby out or to give yourself more slack to work with, you simply lift up on there. And pull baby up and out. I hope you found this helpful. Happy baby wearing.